Hey interwebs, welcome back, my name's Tethys, and this is the Resident Evil HD Remaster. Last episode, we ended up going around, we ended up finding a lot of items, we finally found an ink ribbon, so we were able to save. And now we are going to go and get that little mini key that we saw, so we can open up the crate, uh, not crate, the fence into the uh, cemetery. And I believe that we found two of the four masks that we need for that um, weird setup they've got in the, one of the tombs in the graveyard. So let's go do that. I'm really hoping that uh, we're getting pretty close. To what we need to be doing right now. I'm actually going to go and check this room here just to be on the safe side so we don't have to come back and do it. And I know that any doors that are locked right now are locked because we don't have the exact key that we need. So yeah that's what I thought. Okay. So let's grab this, and on the way out, we're going to stop in that uh, typewriter room again. We're not going to save because we don't want to waste any more ink ribbons than we need to, and just kind of empty out our inventory of all the stuff that we have right now, because it's a lot, and some of it we probably can't use just yet. Plus, I need to grab those masks. Okay. Let's get rid of this. And get rid of this. Get rid of this. Without a mouth. Another desk ma de desk. Death mask. And let's grab the handgun for now. And quickly. No, we can't. Okay. So, I believe this is the one without a mouth, and this is the one without the eyes. Yeah, okay. So we've got those four statues that we have to go to. Oh, no, wait. I need to get rid of the handgun. Derp, 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 derp. I need to get rid of it because we're going to grab that small key so that we can actually take the shortcut, assuming it's still a shortcut. Now the question becomes, where was that room? I think it's this one. Which isn't necessarily close to where we want to be. And if we go up, and then we have to go... Yeah, because that door is broken. Okay. So, I'll be right back. We're going to go and get to the cemetery. Alright, so you are the one without eyes, mouth, and nose. The statue with a hole where the eyes should be. So you probably go there. Oh, that sounded lovely. And you go there. Yeah, I know. Statue with holes where the mouth should be. You go there. I'm sorry, whoever you are. Okay. So that gets rid of two things. We need the one missing all three, and the one missing the nose. And I am pretty sure we will be able to find that once we find the key with the helmet. Or the helmet? Helmet. Helmet, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, helmet.
I have been just absolutely enjoying this game. I can see why so many people are not happy with the direction that the series has taken past Resident Evil 4. Resident Evil 4, from what I know, and I do actually want to play that, so if you want me to play that, please let me know. Um, from what I know, Resident Evil 4 was just kind of like uh, that breath of fresh air the series needed. It was a nice change, kind of like um, in in some ways, like, Res uh, like um, Silent Hill 4, The Room, a lot of people were really divisive on whether or not they liked it. And that's totally understandable, because, like, it was probably a bit of a change of pace that people weren't weren't maybe necessarily ready for or even wanting. So it's 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 interesting to see what make what is it about the game that made it so popular with everybody. And this is this is kind of like a great example of that. And it's it's. Nope! Ha ha! I don't know how I, I got out of that, but I did. I'm not gonna argue with it. Um... Sorry. Shiny. Shinies. I saw shinies. Um... But yeah, what, what was this? Yeah, okay. I, I remember now. Um... I understand why so many people like this game, because it's... It's a challenging game without being really difficult. I'm playing this on hard, and I don't normally play these survival horror games on hard because I'm I'm terrible at it, but it's just got that that um, good mix of uh, risk and reward to it. Like I don't know if you if you kind of noticed, but I was I was being a lot more um, passive about my playstyle when I didn't have any of those ink ribbons because it became a matter of you want to be careful what you're doing and you actually feel i guess in a sense kind of a fear of finding an enemy like this one that needs to go away um am i going the right way yes i am i'm just i turned or i turned the wrong corner but, uh, yeah, anyway, <laughs> long story short, I understand where a lot of people are coming from in why Resident Evil 5 and 6 have been a really big disappointment. It's because it's more of a focus on the action aspect and not so much the horror aspect of it. Like, this is the perfect, perfect example of survival horror, and it, it should be because it's, it's, it's what popularized it. One of the re things that popularized it, I think the other reason was, again, Silent Hill, which... Um, I have played 2 and 3, so I, it's a totally different aspect of survival horror, but again, it's great. So, <laughs> if, if you're able to listen to me go off on a tangent there, I applaud you, because part of it was me cobbling together my thoughts while I'm playing this, and I kind of wanted to give my two cents as well. Okay. Go this way. Go around. That's the parlor room. What are we missing? Here? Can't go here because that's locked with a helmet key. We haven't been here. So let's go give that a try. Boop! Boop, boop, doop, coo, coo, ka -choo. boop a doop, boop a doop, boop a doop. Walking around the mansion. Just barely know what the fuck I'm doing. Yeah. Right, okay, now I remember what I'm doing. Nope, nope, up, up, up the stairs. Up the stairs. Come on, before he gets ya. 
Thank you. Oh, you're dead! But you're not dead for long! Because I know your ass is gonna come back. Just like you. Oh. We did actually want to be in that room. Derp, derp. You know, Rebecca, if you had stayed there and been, like, a way for me to further my game, that would have been nice. Oh, Jesus. It's open. Ah! ah! Okay. We're gonna go in here. Why? Because it looks like the only other room that I th haven't really been in yet. Whoa, that might be why. Now I remember why. Nope! Oh! No! Get off! Oh my god. Running, 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 running. Because he's getting up, he's getting up, he's getting up. It's locked from the other side, of course it is! That's the helmet. Uh, no, that one I can't do. Okay, so I figured out what we need to do. We need to go back into this room, and we have to push those knight statues in a certain order. So I will be right back. Okay. So if I remember correctly, we're supposed to push... This one. This one. And then... This one. Yay! Okay. Yes. Awesome. Right, what's in here? Mysterious box. Yes, I will. There's a switch. I will. Oh! Okay, and then... Yes. Oh! Sweet! Okay! Oh, this is the, th the one without three. Sweet. Alright, so we've got three of the four death masks now. Um... Okay. So, let's do a quick drop-off of this mask, because we know where it needs to go. So there's no point in putting it away yet. And we'll be right back while I go quickly do that. Alrighty. So this should go here. All right, now I just got one more mask. Um, I think I am going to go actually back to that parlor area, with the piano. But first, I need to go grab the Sonata. 
which is fine because it's it's if I remember correctly. I keep pressing the wrong button for that. Yeah. It's it's actually in the same area almost as the box that we need to get, which is good because then we can go heal. Which is something that we definitely need to do. I'm almost hesitant to do another save solely because I don't want to um wait a second okay yeah that goes downstairs so we need to actually be upstairs and then go up and around and down so I'll be right back again Oh. Sure. Uh, we already had the Sonata. But you know what? That's fine. It's fine. Because we needed to drop this off. Because we don't have any more ammo. And pick that up. And then... Use that. This is fine. And... I don't think we're going to need the old key, because it almost seems counterproductive to hold on to it for now, if uh, we're not going to go to that uh, gate into the cemetery. So now, we are going to go... Why don't we go around when I can just go this way? Right. Well, it's a good thing that uh, you and I are not going to be interacting much, sir. Zambi. All right, and I think we're further enough along that we can safely say we want to grab that now. And the parlor is actually right there, so this works out quite well. At least I, th I think that's the parlor. I really hope it is. I'm, I wish that I had a way to kind of like mark on my map where everything is, but I guess that kind of would defeat the whole purpose of having a map. Bye! Yeah, I think this is the parlor, this one. Yep. Okay. An expensive looking grand piano. me, Chris. Oh. You okay? Yes, I'm okay. Can't grieve forever. This is the Moonlight Sonata. Can you play? Please say yes. was that? Excuse My you! My interpretation is off a little. Let me practice for a while. Yeah, sure. Sure. But don't get too carried away. Oh, I won't. Okay. I'll let you, uh, I'll let you do that. I think we're supposed to let her do it for just, like, a little bit, not too, too long. So, I'm gonna go run around for a bit, and I'll see you when we get back. Ah, oh, yeah.
Off with your head, and I never have to deal with you again. But I have to deal with you, sir? Yup. You look cozy, don't you? Ha! <laughs> okay, so we've wandered around out there for what I believe is more than enough time. Hopefully Shin's back I haven't done. Chris! Chris! I think I got it! This makes perfect. Apparently. What's and open the door. What's in here? Oh. Yes. This? There we go. What's this? Trevor's diary. <sighs> Eleven days have passed since arriving on this estate. How did I end up like this? A guy in a lab coat brought me a meager plate of food and said, Sorry to put you through this, but it's for security reasons. That's when it hit me. It all makes sense now. There are only two people that know the secret of this mansion, Sir Spencer and myself. If they kill me, Sir Spencer will be the only person that knows the secret. But for what purpose? It doesn't matter now. It's too dangerous here. My family, I hope they're alright. I've decided to escape. Jessica, Lisa, I pray you are safe. November 26th. How could I be so careless? I lost my favorite lighter, the one Jessica gave me for my birthday. Now it's going to be that much harder to escape this dark place. November 13th, the date when my fate was sealed. My aunt was hospitalized just three days before that. Jessica and Lisa said that they were going to visit her. I wish I could be there with him, or with them. But wait, even as I'm writing, my memory is coming back to me more vividly. Just before I passed out, I remember the men in the lab coat said something like, Most likely your family is already. I pray for their safety. November 27th. Somehow I managed to get out of that room, but getting out of this mansion won't be as easy. I have to get past all the booby traps. Tiger eyes, gold emblem. I have to try and remember for my own sake. Yeah, I don't think he managed to get out. Were you alright in there? Yeah. That was it. Alright then. Uh, thanks, Rebecca, for opening that door for me. I'm just gonna ditch you now. Peace. So, based on the fact that we have this golden emblem, I have a feeling we want to place it back on the fireplace. Let's go do that. I also went and grabbed some uh, of the ammo in the room that we found before, since I had the space for it, and thankfully it seems to stack. Oh! Alright, so it looks like we did need to, uh, open the clock. When the two have run each other through, the path to your destiny will open. 
It looks like you can turn the gears inside the clock, right? Yes, turn which gear? The small? To the right? Keep turning, yes. The large? To the left? Yes. Uh, the small... Yes. 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 Actually, let's let's back off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe it's something to do. Okay, so the it has to be this. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Small. Right. Yes. Small. Right. No. Eight. Eh. Oh. Let's see. Green. Okay, so the little one has to go through the green. The big one has to go through red. Yes! I was making it way too complicated. Ooh, what's this? Ah, the shield key! Yes! Alright, um... Okay. I think I know where we need to go next. We need to go back upstairs and go where, I think his name's Richard? Where he ended up dying. So we'll do that quickly. Pet here. Sorry, bud. If I'd known that he was gonna die... <laughs> he was actually gonna die if I didn't get fast enough. I, I, that's completely new to me with these games. Oh! That was... That was a one-use key. Alright, then. We'll check this room out really quickly. What's... I don't trust this word. Hello! Holy shit! Oh my god! No, no, no! And with that said, we're getting the hell out. Let me out. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Uh Okay. <sighs> We're gonna end it here. I hope you enjoyed this, uh, slightly longer vi episode. I, I just, I couldn't find a good place to stop. It just was like one thing to the next. So if you want to see more, um, please subscribe as I update every Monday to Friday. And if you want to suggest more videos and more games for me to play, 
please leave a comment in the comment section below and like this video. Give it a thumbs up. It really helps me a lot. Thanks for watching. Bye!